Hello everyone, my name is Stefan. I am a PM on the remote desktop services team. And what I want to show you today is how I'm going to take a non-MSX installer, convert it to MSX. This is going to be a first step towards delivering that application as MSX have attached in my Windows virtual desktop environment. And there are a few prerequisites before you can start repackaging. And obviously the first one is to have your installer. So in this case, I have obtained the Microsoft Edge dev channel. Then the next prerequisite is to have the MSX packaging tool that's already open on my desktop here. This, uh, this tool is available to the Microsoft Store. You can get it from here for free. And in case uh, you cannot use the Microsoft Store, it is available as a quick start template in Hyper-V. Now, and this might seem obvious, but since I'm going to repackage that application, I am actually going to perform an install. And the packaging tool will capture the Delta on the OS before the installation of the application and after. So it is imperative to make sure that that application that I'm trying to install and repackage is not already on the machine, right? You'll be surprised how often people miss that fine detail. So I do have Microsoft Edge, but I don't have Microsoft Edge dev channel. So that's perfect. Packaging tool is open. I'm gonna click application package. I will uh, obviously use this machine. We don't talk about this machine too much, but um, this is a clean machine. Clean means I am using it only for repackaging. There's nothing noisy going on in the background. And you will see that when we click next, the packaging tool itself will make sure that the machine is not having a lot of noise in the background. The first step of the process that um, the MSX packaging tool is doing is installing that driver that kind of very simplistically provides the, the snapshot, the layer before the install. You can see we disabled Windows Update because we don't want that one kicking in in the middle of our repackaging process. Click Next. Now here, uh, I've seen people do it without pointing to the package. I've seen people do it by pointing to the package. Personal preference, I'm going to point it to the package. Microsoft Edge Dev Channel, perfect, select all. Now, I'm going to sign it. You must sign your MSX packages. Otherwise, you won't be able to use them in MSX Attach. I have uh, provided my private certificate password for the certificate. Now, a disclaimer here, since I'm using a non-publicly trusted certificate, I need to make sure that that certificate makes it on each of the VMs that I'm going to deliver this application on. With that said, let's go ahead and click Next. And at this screen is where we provide information around the package. So this was an MSI. The packaging tool was smart enough to go and pick up a lot of this data directly. We didn't have to enter it. Not a big deal. If it wasn't there, you just enter it. Click Next. And you can see that the, uh, the MSX packaging tool is kicking off the Microsoft Edge dev channel. Now this takes anywhere about between half a minute to a minute and a half, two minutes. It really depends. So we're just going to sit here in silence and wait for it to finish because I don't want to miss the point where the installation is completed. It's very key to the whole process and just to make sure that there's nothing hidden here. And almost like that, right? It was done. The installation has been completed. And you're like, prove it. And I'm like, okay. We'll go to the start menu. We'll type Edge, and you can see that I do have Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Edge Dev. Let's go ahead and start that one. And you can see it is Microsoft Edge. It is running, it is being installed, and it is available to, uh, for us to use. Perfect. Back in the packaging tool, click Next. And then here, this is a key step that I've learned the hard way that you need to pay attention to. 
if there's nothing showing up, packaging has failed. At least that's my experience. So in this case, uh, you can see the Microsoft Packaging Tool was able to observe that there was an executable that was doing some modification. So it looks good to me. You click next. Yes, I am sure. And what's going to happen here is the Microsoft Packaging, uh, sorry, the MSX uh, Packaging Tool is checking if there were any services part of the package. Uh, I think it, what was it, earlier this year, we started supporting services in our MSX packages. So uh, that functionality was also added to the packaging tool. And again, similar to the installation of the Edge, we'll have to wait. And you can see here, there was a service. I can choose to exclude it if I want. I don't really care uh, for this demo if I do it or not. Actually, it might be a better demo if I don't. We'll click Next. Now ask me, where do you want your package safe? Uh, before we go and uh, click Create the Package, I want to quickly jump in the Package Editor. In case we messed up something, we can always go back, fix it. We can add some of the capabilities, additional registry if we need to, and add packages to the files. Uh, sorry, add files to the package. And this is useful if you want to override the icon or include a script, uh, sorry, include like a, some file that you're going to use in a script. None of that is really important for this demo. We'll click Create. And what is happening right now is that the MSX Packaging Tool is comparing the before and after snapshot of the operating system, the memory, the registry, the file system, and it's generating this uh, MSX here on the screen. And again, similar to how it was with uh, the install itself and with the service, we'll have to sit and wait in silence while the package is being created. And then this here, it will vary based on application, based on what the application did, based on what type of VM you're using. And uh, yeah, it took about a minute, maybe. So yeah, it generated uh, an artifact for me, a log file that I can go and check it uh, in case I want. It also, right here on the save location, generate my MSX. And hopefully you can see it. I'm just going to move it slightly here. Dot MSX. Cool. Well, that was it. We repackaged an application from an MSI to MSX. And you'll be like, uh, yeah, that was not very eventful. Well, let's go and make it eventful. So if I just go and install Edge Dev, nothing will happen. Why? Well, just install it. Right, you can see it here in the control panel. So let's go ahead, remove it. So this was the traditional installer. So we're just like wiping it away from the system or as close to wiping as we can. And now let's go and run this uh, new Microsoft Edge package. We'll run it. It's doing its thing. And being an MSX, still takes some time because at the end of the day it has to unzip those files which reminds me that's going to be a cool thing to show okay so something got installed and that something is edge dev beta oh whatever edge dev channel so let's type edge and you can see i have edge and edge dev Perfect. Uh, what else can we do here? Make sure it uh, works. Was there an about page here? Help and feedback. Rip help. And here we'll see. It's working. Yeah, no, not much there. Okay, so our MSX package seems to be working, at least the sniff test. Now, this is a cool thing I like to do every now and then when I do these demos. Is I'm going to take the Microsoft Edge package. Just because we were talking about the zip. Oh, the dot zip. Change the file type. Come in here. We get some files. 
a non-MSX with the MSX packaging tool, we convert it to MSX. Now in the next section, we'll go and expand that MSX so we can use it in Apache. Thank you.